I love you. Hi, I want to talk about coprographia, which is writing or drawing ticks. Um, this can take many forms, but um, mostly I've found it to be a helpful thing. This is one of my secrets to helping you survive in out in public with coprolalia. Um, how it works is, but I found, so ticks are an urge that has to be satisfied in order to feel relief. If you hold it in, you get, fuck me, bitch, I love you, fuck off, <laughs> fuck me. In order to get relief from the ticks, fuck me, you have to actually let your ticks out um, without suppressing, fuck me. So if you, if you do, okay. So I know I've talked to before about how if you actually let your ticks out unfiltered, then it can give you some relief. Like when I'm in the store, it can help me to actually focus but, on shopping. Um, but the problem is usually there's tons of people around, so you can't let your ticks out fully but, without offending people. So the trick I've found is coprographia. I, I'll talk more another day about writing ticks, but this comes in handy because sometimes I can actually write or type ticks into my phone. Fuck me. And it will give me the same relief as if I had shouted the tick out loud. Fuck me. It doesn't always work, of course, but sometimes it does. Um, so, for example, I could text one of my trusted friends who understands me, fuck me, and knows me and is not offended by it and they understand that it's, you know, just a tick. Fuck me. So I could say the ticks that I need to shout in the store, I could actually type it and send it to a friend. And that can sometimes give me the relief as if it satisfies the tick urge as if I had shouted it out loud. Fuck me. Um, sometimes I don't even need to send it. Sometimes just typing it into the, the message thing and not even sending it, sometimes that can work. Um, but not always. Sometimes I end up having to fuck me send it in order to for the tick to be satisfied, you know, but me. So anyway, that can come in handy. If you struggle with ticks out in public, uh, very offensive ticks, this may help you too, because I've used it many times. Um, anyway, hope that's helpful. But, but me, I love you. Enjoy the beautiful day, wherever you are. But, bye, but, but.